Hi there, Leos. This is Astro Girl, and thanks so much for tuning in for your stars this week. And this week we end 2013, and we bravely start 2014. And there's a lot of planetary play that's retrograde, which is not so good. And a lot of planets are in Capricorn, which doesn't gel so well with your fiery self. However, you love a challenge, and as I said, this is a seven year. It adds up to seven. So it's supposedly going to be a good lucky year. The last few days of 2013 find both Venus and Jupiter moving backward in feminine signs, Capricorn and Cancer. Since Venus represents personal values and Jupiter represents social codes of behavior, these two planetary motions echo the rise of watery feminine energy during 2014 and the healing energy of the Grand Trine, which of course we had last week. Although Venus in ret retrograding Capricorn has a Scrooge-like quality, Venus is not happy when she's in Capricorn. It is a symbol that austerity measures are becoming more of a necessity than a choice. It also urges us to take responsibility for whatever predicament we find ourselves in. If this seems like a bit of cold comfort, Leos, remember, Capricorn is all about what is practical, not about being warm and fuzzy. Although Jupiter went out of phase in Cancer, your 12th house of past karma in November, its influence is especially felt now at the end of the year and the beginning of the new year, when we're taking stock of the pluses and minuses in our lives during the last 12 months. Jupiter ret retrograde asks that at the end of 2013, we look inside ourselves and not to the outer world to measure our success. Jupiter retrograde on New Year's Eve tells us that real success can be measured only by what we've become, not by what we've achieved or accumulated. And for you, Leos, achievement and accumulation of things is to you something very good. You may find, however, that it's your moral compass, the way you treat other people, the way you treat yourself, the way you feel, think, act towards other people is something more valuable than a fancy new car or an expensive holiday or a Louis Vuitton handbag or jewelry from Tiffany's, etc., etc. Have a great week. Happy New Year. And I'll speak to you again next week.